All right, RMT8, proceed with caution. We have one person on a BMX bike. Okay, we're doing like a, a wheel of death type of thing. So let's see, so. Okay. So I think our goal here is to get inside the wheel of death. Step step one. Okay, I, I kinda like slowing slowing them down too. Oh, you're not top in the gallery? Shame. Shame! This this one looks like it could be pretty fiddly. For sure. So there's part of me that thinks that we could just do something like this and he'll just kind of like hang out. And then, does this, this collides with roads, but not, not steel. So, presumably we can just do something like this. This, this first solution of mine is very rudimentary, for sure. So we can, we can have just the tiniest jump like that to clear the gap, I think. And then I think this this challenge is mostly designed to uh, to get all the people who who heavily abuse triangulate. Wait, I did these two differently, and this is definitely, this one needs to be down like that, I think. I don't think there's any way this holds. Yeah, no, not, not even close. Right now, I think the problem is that this part falls, because this part pivots here, which is not good. What kind of structure would I use to hold this in place if I didn't couple it with the other two? Also, this guy hitting this and falling on his back is not ideal. Um, there's nothing down below. So I could do like a... What if I did a triangle that is completely separate, like that? Okay. So we need to tweak this so that that guy doesn't fall on his butt. Ooh. This, uh, this was not as... This is, this is not advised. <laughs> I am burning through budget here, among other things. Also, that, is there some asymmetry that I don't know about going on here? I thought I, I thought I had a perfectly symmetrical design here, but that, Kind of, 
kind of caught up on that. Hmm. So I, I think I might want to just slow him down a bit, see, see how that works. Ooh, that was a really spicy result. Wow, I did terribly. <laughs> Bottom 45%. I was very proud of myself there. I think I just used a lot of steel that I probably didn't need to. I'm, I'm surprised by how fast that we got that one. Considering you didn't use the level. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what that means. All right, top 45%. Progress is being made. I mean, when in doubt, wood rope? No way, right? Me? Jeez. Top 38. I mean, I think there's a lot to shave here because I don't think any of these things are particularly stressed. Get rid of the grid. The optimizations just keep coming. This is probably going to be a tough one to to remove. I'd, I'd be surprised if this muscle holds up. It seems like this is probably pretty load-bearing. Uh, all right. Now this, can we just, whoops. Let's go, let's go grid on this. Like, I, I suspect that this structurally just needs to hold. A little, a little bit, a little bit too much there. Okay. Do a tiny bit of shaving there. Okay. All right, we're doing a thing. I think we have a lot more too. Like all of this over here, I think can uh I think we can actually borrow these two. I, I already see the future. I know what the next optimization, if we want to do an optimization, is. And I think that's to make the center dangly uh, and non rigid. It's a scary thought. Now, there's also a possibility that we can just shorten this. It seems like he has a lot of a lot of momentum going that way. No. All right, let's try let's try the maximum length we can get with a single piece of wood. Okay, that's not strong enough. Now, if we just did if we just did a piece of that. That's I think still better than we were doing before. So this worked. Could we do? It's a terrible muscle. One of my worst.
Let's go back to our best unbreaking. There we go. The wood tr uh, can be wood triangles instead. The wood muscle that supports the road. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying rather than do that, do that. Mm, might have to make it a little taller. Shift this down a bit. Nice, nice. Okay, and we can do the same thing over here. All right, we're getting pretty clean. Top 30%. So I think the next the next thing is making this non-rigid, I think. That I think I think that's a that's a bigger ask. Okay. I'm I'm happy with this solution. I think we did we did a good job there. So let's uh, let's look in the gallery now. So a oh, what amazing. So I see what you meant about not using the level. Now I feel like I I missed out on all the fun. Oh Zez, that is clean looking. Nicely done. I mean, I'm surprised I'm as cheap as I am for... So yeah, so you can catch them directly in that thing. Uh, very clever. It is, it is funny to me that the idea of building inside of it just did not even... Uh, was not even in the equation for me. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm comparable with this solution here. But yeah, I don't I don't think there's a lot more we could have done with this. Eh, I guess this one's novel enough that I will uh I'll I'll submit this to Oh, I bet we can I wonder if we can make the road catch sh shorter before we before we give up here. Okay, now the road catch wins the fight. Okay, now the road catch never I think there was there was enough butterfly effect with our road catch that I think uh, we probably can't uh, can't mess with it. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with uh with moving onward and upwards to RM nine rally rollover. There's a there's a black hole. Okay, so we have a hydraulic phase, we have two rally cars, we have a hydraulic phase, and we have two turnarounds. Okay, so they are very well stuck together by this boulder. Oh, so once they get over to the other side, we need to flip them over or the, the red one won't be able to get to the red flag. Hmm. Now I think the I think the intended solution is for the car to go like this and then like this and come back up. In fact, I bet I bet when the car drives off this edge it lands inverted. So let's let's double check that. This thing probably weighs a fairly large amount. So well, we'll we'll start with we'll start with normal triangles. Okay. 
it is a it is a beefy boy. But I really just want to see what it, what happens when it gets to the end. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that's what I was expecting. Hey, Ninja. Ninja J, welcome. Okay, so I was thinking we would use the... So the hydraulic is here, right? So it strikes me as why can't we just flip it here? That won't work. So I really want my hydraulic. Oh, we can't build in there. Hmm. So, okay, so we want... I want something as low as I can get over here. Set this to expand 100%. I'm just, I'm curious what this does. I want to see if I can flip it myself. I mean, we're, we're going to need more range of motion than that for sure. So this is where I've been studying the, I've been studying hydraulics, not necessarily, uh, not necessarily learning anything from them, but but trying to at least. So this is gonna give us a, hold on, if I move this to here, this is gonna give us a 90 degree rotation when we do that. So if we cut this and put this here, now we want, we want a longer motion out of this. There we go. So now this will this will rotate like this. This will rotate up to here. Yep. Okay. So if we have them drive up a ramp like this. So if this is rotating like this, this is this is where things start to uh, things start to fall apart. There's something you're supposed to be able to do with parallelograms. So how does that move? Nailed it. Okay. Put a triangle there. Okay, so this, oh, this is the rotation point. So we definitely need Why can't I, couldn't I get there before? No, I think I, I think I deleted something important here. Yeah, this is, this is the one. Why doesn't that connect anymore? So now we have a triangle. It's going to rotate around this point. We can then grab this triangle. Put it here. Create a linkage. Creeper face. 
There we go. But I don't I don't know if that solves our problem. This is going to break, I think, the second the car drives on it. Oh, we did not get... Okay, the car needs, uh, needs a little more... A little help getting up. We'll, uh, we'll switch over to the other, uh, the other design here in a second if this doesn't work. But I did want to play around with hydraulics a bit. Because this is going to move up like this. This is going to pull that. I don't think it's going to flip it far enough. Okay, driving up things is not is not this thing's forte. We got it. Is this load bearing at all? I think it was. Yeah. Okay. We'll get this like so. Then all we need to do is get the hydraulic to come down here and collect it. Okay. Which this is, this is two contractions, so we can definitely do this as a hydraulic muscle, I think. And I might actually be wrong about needing. Both of them. Probably should make this a split joint, right? I do understand split joints now, I will say. Hmm, that went further than I needed it to. I don't think there's any way we do this on... Is there any way that we can constrain these without... I think we need four. We're definitely at budget, so it's... I think I think just a tiny road here solves that problem. This is the slowest uh, double boulder car the world has ever seen. So seems like very much the intended solution. Um, super curious to see what the gallery looks like on this one. But we are bottom eleven percent. Someone did it for 9,000. That person is, uh, is a monster. So one thing I was thinking about here is we could do this level without hydraulics, maybe. If they could, if they have enough horsepower, which 12 horsepower is a lot, right? So we could just have them push up the, uh, push up the second, have like a trap door, basically. So rather than this being like this, we turn on our grid and this is like something like that. And then we just put cable here to, why can't I put cable here? Oh, there we go. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna overspend on this initially. Why is that? Oh, I think it's because I have the trace tool active. Yes. So now the other problem that we're gonna face now is that we have not made it so the trapdoor can actually swing. And I think there's a pretty large portion of things that needs to be swinging like maybe like all the way to here so that this is the joint so we need to make this extremely well reinforced
Oh yeah, wait, this doesn't... Oh, yeah, this, this can't be connected anymore. This has to be connected like this. Ooh, well, we'll try a steel muscle before we uh, before we give up on this. Of note, we've already exceeded the budget. Uh, <laughs> trying to do it this way, and wow, yep. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to our solution. I think it seems like hydraulics are critical, and maybe just I think the issue is is right now we are not using the full capacity of our hydraulics. So rather than We should shorten them and have them be 100% contracting. I think that's the that's the play. Actually, I wonder, do they need to be? Let's get out of the cut paste menu. Why am I not getting? There we go. Yeah, so contract fully, contract fully. This, this also can be much cheaper, I think. But we definitely want... Something like that. Okay, so everything is contracting. These are all part of segment two. The only one that I don't want is that one should remain locked. All right, let's, let's see how that goes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now we've reduced our, our cost in hydraulics pretty substantially. Okay. Bottom 23, look at us making progress. So I think whatever the actual solution here is, I think it probably involves, well, there's huge potential savings if that works. This long cable? Just let the hydraulic pull from the middle. Oh yeah. What a what an exceptionally good idea. So if we move the anchor point here, then we can get it working like so. Yep, that's even that's even too far. So we could move it one more over this way. And then we can have an even shorter hydraulic, right? Okay. At some point the the lever forces become too much. And also I think these are bearing a lot of weight right now. So That's a clean lineup right there, but yeah, so the it looks like the compromise here though is if we go for the hydraulic from the middle here, we do need we need steel to support it. But that's still a huge shave. Good call, Zez. There's no way this works, right? Even if we finagle it. I mean, it's supported there. The problem is going to be on this side. Yeah. Things get things get a lot hairier. Does this work? Certainly not for that case. So with steel it works. The ropes are getting pretty stressed out, as is everything else. Maybe the best shave we can do right now is just on this side where we're near the fulcrum, we can just kind of like get a little bit less. 
Because I think on this side we need we need our triangles. So I'm kind of wondering right now if like we can get rid of this road if we don't use this anchor point because we're not going to be able to use this anchor point for phase two regardless. So hold on. Let's, let's get rid of all that. Let's do something to like here. Let's get it on grid. There we go. And then we'll do trace tool from here to here with roads. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Because that looked like it actually worked. Close the trace tool. Get rid of that. Yeah, so now let's make the bridge support its own weight. Because if it supports its weight on the way there, it probably should on the way back, and then we can get... Then we can tweak the on-ramp so we don't need that dangling road, etc. And to, to perhaps no one's surprise, that does add quite a bit of strain to the system. But we'll... Close. Very close. Ooh, all right. But that was, that was quite nice. Now we, we know we just need to angle that down just ever so slightly. It looks like it's resting on the... It looks like it's resting on the ground there. So maybe we need to, we need to let it pass. Although it resting on the ground could be really good for its stability if we can get... Maybe we can just do like a... A little ramp to get the the car on. Why do I why do I have a feeling that that's not going to make any difference? Hmm. Okay, so that's not going to work. So we need this to. I need to watch this closely. Yeah. Okay. So that. That comes in contact, which unsurprisingly, maybe we can do that. Oh, that doesn't, there's no way that makes it through that, does it? Okay, so we do, maybe we do this and then we do want one road here, but that, that kind of brings us back to where we were before. Oh wait, we could do split joints though. Oh, I think that's the play. Okay, hold on. So, we get rid of that. We actually do this. Yeah, if we have a split joint on the far side that we are linking to, then I think we can do much... We can make it much stronger. So let's just see how close that gets. Super, a million miles away, okay. Uh, okay, so rather than contracting, we can shorten this. Okay, Just adjust that. Close. Ooh, a lock. And that makes it significantly stronger. Okay, now that means we're going to be able to shave a ton off of, I think, the the steel that we're using up top here. So 
Split joints were one of those things that plagued me for the longest time. They, they're they a little counterintuitive to me. Now that, that holds. Oh man. Okay. Can we do... Next big big question is can we do rope? No. What about rope muscles? And are they cheaper than than the steel cable? Looks like the answer is yes. Okay, we're getting there. Top 25, I didn't think we were gonna, didn't think we had it in us with the way that we started out on this level. Okay, that was overly ambitious. I do wonder at this point if the, if this little bit at the end is causing us more harm than good. Well, that was very stressed. Okay. I, I'm i pretty pleased with where we got to here. I'll probably shrink this up, right? This, I don't think that's load-bearing. Just needs to be in the right position. All right. Well, without a radical redesign, I don't think we're gonna get much higher than this, but feeling pretty good about it. Let's check out some levels. You have to be kidding me. Zez, you're killing me. <laughs> I spent all that time with hydraulics trying to flip it over and all you need is a freaking ramp. A little ramp. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Well done. Yep, looks like looks like little ramp wins the day. But we did learn some things about hydraulics or get slightly better about them. That's That was my original idea. Kit managed to do it. Ooh. That's just very elegant. I like that a lot. It's about 10,000 over, over my budget, but... Now, did they use... They, oh my gosh, just dropping the bridge. I love... I love that idea. <laughs> It's not cheap, but I love I love the idea of just getting rid of it via some split joints. All right, I do like hydraulic levels. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's go back to the campaign and see where we are. We got three more to do. The last ones usually take a long time. Let's try and stick one more in uh, in my current episode here. This is the seesaw. We have an RV and we have a precariously balanced thingy. Oh, even more fun than precariously balanced. Okay. So, let's see. If I were a betting man... I would assume... that we're gonna do... something at least moderately like this. My, uh, my my dog is definitely having a dream right now. I can I can hear her, but it's the it's the kind of barking that dogs do when they are asleep, not the kind that they do when they're awake. Very timid, slightly uh, slightly inhibited. Okay, so this is gonna move with the thing. Nailed it. Okay. So presumably we need to go out a bit further. Ooh. 
This one is not easy. I'm excited. I love a, I love some not easy levels. I just want to I want to see if this even lines up cuz the seesaw moves pretty quickly. I'm generally just very impressed by the uh Rigidity. Okay, so let's let's try something slightly different. I'm gonna go for the platonic ideal of a triangle here. Let's just get to there. We'll do Does not work out. Hold on, I wanna I wanna measure this. Are all of these gaps the same? Looks like they are. So if I use this as my unit of building, then I copy one of these and rotate it 45 degrees. Sixty looks like we might be able to. Does sixty? Wait. Okay, rotate another hundred and twenty. Okay, so those are those are some triangles that we can use that will sync up well with the anchors that we have. job. All right, so if we do... <laughs> Actually, I, I think it is going to go up pretty high, so, well, no, I, I think we do this. I think we do... I think we do that, and then we just see what... Like, does this even hold? No. Okay. Now, in this case, are these... We might need those, but maybe we don't need... Well, we need these to support the triangles. Hmm. Okay, so I think... I think the idea of connecting that all with triangles is... is a bad one. So instead, let's try... making some type of... Yeah, I, oh, I'm not paying any attention to the budget. I should just be building with that. I find it very, I find the way that uh, steel triangulates to be very frustrating. That's the one thing. So this, this rotates upwards first. No, it rotates downwards first. So, so I just want to, I want to create a point. And I want to see if I can move it so that it lines up well with picking up the RV. Let's do that for now. Yeah, so that's not that's not a great location yet. Hmm. I want this to be rigid, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because I, I want to see exactly where it traces. Jeez, you need to go pretty high. It seems to get the right. Oh, oh my! Hey, Ninja! Thank you for uh, thank you for visiting. Have a good one. That's pretty close. Yeah. Okay. That's that's gonna pick it up nicely. So that's our starting point, I think. Oh, wait a second. 
So I was gonna say we probably we probably for the second half of this want to drop the RV on here and just have it drive on this. But I guess it depends where the RV is gonna be on the far side. Well, let's let's lock in this point. And then this is going to be angled downward at the time, so we want this to kind of be angled upward. Okay, let's... let's see if we can get... Yikes. All right. Hmm. Also, I think I got the angle wrong here. I think when this comes, it's going to want to be like this. We, we know we just need to not move the left-hand side of that. So let's build... Oh, we can barely get a triangle out of this. That's not fun. If I just lash this like this. Okay. All right. I take that as a uh, as some success. So now, now I'd like to figure out where, well, we, we don't know what part of the, the period this is going to be at when we're on the far side. So I guess the best thing we can do is probably just build. So this is a pretty tall thing. So let's do something like that. That's actually, this is more than tall enough. Let's do something like that, and then we'll connect these two and try and smooth that out. It's pretty much a straight shot, honestly. Like, I think I can move that down one. Sure. Would not recommend, but that's pretty clean. I think that lines up really well. So I think we, I think we keep that as is, and then we might just do something like this too. I, I love how somehow, somehow no changes over here, but the existence of this breaks this. Fantastic. Let's, uh, let's just see if this helps. So I, I probably don't need as much road here. And then what does this even look like? Oh. I mean, it's not out of the question. We just don't have good traction here. Nope. Okay. So, so I think that means that we probably need to start doing our... Maybe that's all we need. Did not expect that to happen. If I get rid of that one and do that and then just do rope there. That. No, definitely not that. Okay. I'm 
super baffled. All right, this is... This seems like it should not be hard to get to work. Okay. Simpler solution was the better one, apparently. The no slide is very, uh, very impressive, if nothing else. And then... So close. Okay. So I suspect we just need just one more road to to make that work, and then we can probably just I mean we are super under budget right now, and I think we have done a terrible job on the left-hand side and can shave more. I I suspect we'll be around 50k when we finish this one. Okay, now we're way too high. And then I... Ooh. This being more vertical, I think, is probably good. And I think maybe we can just do a straight shot. Ooh, all right, let's try bringing that back a, a touch. Hit it with that 3X, and get the nice nose slide. Not, not on my watch, the RV says. I'm impressed. This, uh, this part here is, is harder than it looks like. I wonder... I think the grid is the grid is hurting us in its confusion. Oh. Wait, max stress? Why does it is it counting this as unbreaking? I mean, it clearly broke. Under budget and unbreaking. Broke after touching the flag, Miz. I did not know that, that was a possibility. How curious. I did not know that could I did not know you could do that. Good old butterfly effect. Alright, well. Ironically, this one broke. But anyways, I think. So we're getting a very advantageous landing. But I feel like we don't need that last snippet of road. We're just going to have to do some tweaking to make sure that we get a similar... Yeah. Similar landing. We want that front slide. Okay. Just kidding on that one. No, we don't want to mess with those. This we don't need at all, clearly. Whoops. Every pixel makes a difference. Wow, that is, it is incredible that had that effect. So before we deleted that, so we're coming in kind of like this. So I think maybe we want something more like that. You're in breaking is still 69k. All right, well. I mean, some of this seems just like grossly overbuilt. Okay. 
my best breaking is 19k. There's this is an interesting level. So let's see. So it's tipping further over. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go for like a little. Does this make any sense? I don't think this makes any sense. I just want to adjust its flight on the end there. Oh, that was weird. I mean, technically that worked. Okay. So that was a non-breaking solution. The uh, the effect that this had is uh, dubious, I would say. Yeah, somehow, I mean, does this just, does this really not result in the nose slide? Yeah, this one flips over, okay. I mean, if I just hang a little piece off there. <laughs> Lower the left tip of the roads so the back wheel doesn't slam into it. I feel like this is the chaos pendulum. We get this right and everything else is just gonna be fine. But I think we're, we're very close here. Everything can just shift a little bit right here. Except that, that I didn't like that right shift. These triangles were all kind of like off center. I want to make this a bit more rigid before I start playing with the chaos. So, okay, so I want it to be able to fall that way. So if we put it this way, then we want a We do something like this then we can do can we do two ropes does that work no that's gonna break when we hit it that and that immediately falls hmm Catches, catches are something I haven't played with too thoroughly, but like if we just, so maybe these were the back wheels that you're referring to? Maybe if we just, yeah, the, the point of descent, maybe we can keep playing around with that. It does seem like going higher helps more than the alternative. Oh, the no slide is what we like. All right, there's 63. Oh, man. All right, we can probably fix this. No, the start of the road to the left edge of screen. You mean over here? Lower the left tip of the road so the back wheel doesn't slam into it. All right, let's give that a go. Give that a little lowering. And then over here... Maybe just making these triangles slightly more equilateral will help. Hmm. It's, it's when it starts to move up again that we run into a problem. I wonder if, if just rope does that. The nose slide is clutch. Yeah, okay, so what's happening is is the the timing is a little bad. Yeah, that was that was smoother.
And I think the best thing I can do is just make these even a little larger. Go back to wood here. I mean, 63K is still feeling pretty good since I think we can do a lot of structural work on the left-hand side. If I can get this not breaking, although that's a lot. Like, for instance, this is just probably so much more than we need. Like in this web here, I think we can... I mean, if we do that, we can just find a little... Let's see how bad that is now. Right, it still holds below 59k, although we still need to get this left side working. Which I think right now the problem is that the delivery on the left side is just too high. Right? If we're... Like, these roads are not even necessary also, because the truck isn't driving on them. So if we do something like that... See how that looks. <laughs> yes, these tweaks over here break this. I that is that is my favorite polybridge trope, I think. We can go even lower, I think. It does it does certainly feel that way. Uh, oh, so close. I think I, I think that maybe, just maybe. If we just slow this down a little bit, that made it more expensive, obviously. Oh, <laughs> the switch flips itself. Amazing. We kind of wanted to go earlier, not later. I think that's the problem. We just want it coming, arriving sooner. This is worrisome. Or we delay it quite a bit. I think that may be my, my strategy here. Let's try, let's just see what happens if we try and delay it a bit. Now we're hitting it at the peak, which is not good. Do we think there's any world where it catches this and it lands upright? hitting it right at the top of the movement and that's amplifying the weight of the of the car this this one here i don't even know is that even necessary yeah it is okay i've started i've started prematurely optimizing not a not a good look Let's get back to the big ugly thing that at least works. 
We have because we haven't fixed this problem yet. I mean, it's not that expensive for me to just try and make this side galvanize it. There's probably some of these over here that are actually breaking. Okay, so let's see. So this becomes a lot less complicated if we just make this like this. And then this is the first road we have to hold in place. a triangle. Not all triangles are created equal. Okay, that's a, that's a thing. I think that is our that is our best to date. Okay, top 15%, but I think there's there's work still to be done. This has just become ironclad. If you had told me we were gonna create something that was gonna hold that up like that, I would have looked at you very confusedly. All right, those are important. So maybe over here is where we uh where we try to find some savings. Oh man. I am looking forward to the gallery on this one. So let's see. So I mean, some of these probably could definitely be just... Now, granted, every single thing we change is having, like, massive effects on the... on the stability of other things. Yeah, I think... I think we call this good enough just because, like, we could tweak this endlessly, but the issue is that... If I make a change over here, all of a sudden this stops holding anymore. So, top 15% feels pretty good. Let's let's check out the gallery on this one. Oh, no gallery at this moment. Dang. All right, well, let's move on. Nonetheless, we'll come back and take a look. All right, here we have controlled demolition I'll try reloading the level uh, 55,000 budget we have our standard things okay looks like we're just driving through this we'll, we'll see if that one we'll go back really quickly and just see because I would like I would be curious I'm, I'm guessing they're having server issues. That's my uh, my suspicion. Ah, nope, we did. So it says, oh my word. Okay, so I see why your breaking solution is uh, is what it is. Oh, blue, I, I dig the, I dig the slidey. Okay. Very nice, okay. Back to controlled demolition. All right, controlled demolition.